Good afternoon world. We're staying in a lovely little condo that we rented out for five days and we thought we'd give you a little building tour to show you what you can get for your money if you were going to come and live in Thailand because you can actually rent these places out monthly. But first of all, Story's going for a little swim in the pool that's on the fifth floor. It's actually brilliant because there is a kiddie zone. She's got it all to herself at the moment. It's just the right height. People are actually doing swimming lessons with their kids here too. So not a bad place for families. I'm watching, go. Well done. Can you try that? So these condo apartments are called Ban Kyung Fa and I was just standing on the 26th floor overlooking the view. You can actually see the sea one way and the mountains the other. So it's in a pretty good location, right next to one of the main roads, but you can't really hear the road traffic when you've got an apartment high up. There is a gym on this level, I'll go and show you that now. You've got the AC blasting in here so it keeps you nice and cool. Quite well equipped. Nice views while you work out too. And they've got weight racks too, which is quite rare actually in most of the apartments we used to stay in. It's not a bad setup. Me and Sasha have been talking about what it'd be like to stay in apartment life in Thailand again. One of the main reasons why we didn't do apartment life before when we lived here was because of Eden. Generally, pets aren't allowed in condos, but pets are actually allowed in this condo, so that's pretty good. I saw it on the sign out there. They're not allowed around the pool area though, part oh. of the pool rules. Eden doesn't even go in our pool at home, so <laughs> that's not a problem, is it, Story? Eden. Eden wouldn't jump in this pool, would she? You have to do the laundry. <laughs> so my mum is taking care of the laundry right now and the machines cost 30 baht and 40 baht depending on which size you need so you just dump all your stuff in there these top loaders that you get in like 7-eleven and stuff and then afterwards they've even got a clothes dryer too and I think that one's 30 baht again you get to wash with a view if anyone's getting confused with the baht situation at the current time 40 baht is one British pound, so that should help some of you work things out. That's it, good to go. Looks like we've got to wait one hour for this. So while the laundry is washing, this is where we've been staying for the last few days. This is the kitchen area over here. And look at the view you get out the window. Beautiful. The sun actually sets right over there, so you get a nice view every night. And there's a lovely balcony here too, so have a look. Ta -da! You can actually hear the road noise from up here, but when you close the windows, it's quite comfortable and peaceful inside. Unbelievably, even though we're so high up, you can hear the Asian corral birds. You know the one that we love. Ooh! You can hear it from all the way up here. I don't know how, unless it's sitting on the building somewhere. You can actually see some of the local neighbourhood from here. You've got a 7-Eleven which is right here. It takes about five minutes to walk to. And just next to it, there was a lovely coffee shop we tried out the other day when we weren't vlogging. It's not a bad place to live, but I think if you had a dog, it'd be a bit of a problem. So we're staying in a two bedroom apartment. There's a little sofa area here and a nice TV. Some decoration up there too. Fridge, freezer, cupboard storage for your shoes. And I do believe that story's having a little nap. You having a little rest? Yeah? Is it a nice cozy bed? Yeah. I don't know, we had animals here. Yeah, there's some animals out there. There was buffaloes and no, buffaloes are wild. Yeah, there was a wild buffalo outside, wasn't there? Buffaloes. Right down there. And look at a big bed. Have you been enjoying this big bed all to yourself? Or do you yeah. share it with mummy and daddy? I showed this at you. Yeah, that's right, the bed is big enough for the three of us. But to be honest with you, it would be nice to have another room because Popeye's in the other place. If it was just us as a family, Sorry could have that as her nursery, so it would have worked out. Inside here, we've got a little bathroom, all tiled, and the shower is actually separate and has a closed door, so you don't get that wet room effect that many Thai places have. Nice big sink there and bum washers. If anyone hasn't been to Asia before, that's what they look like. There is air conditioning in every room. 
they provided us with a fan in this one too. This is what the second bedroom looks like. Is this bed big, Mum? You enjoyed it? It's very comfortable. Yeah? Very comfortable bed, yeah. Large enough? Well, more than large. <laughs> I would sleep on one side anyway. Yeah. And you've got a nice view out the window there. Got air conditioning in this room too. Cupboard space. And then we lead back out into the living room again. So at the time of filming, you could rent a one bedroom version of the condos here for 15,000 Thai baht per month. That's just over 300 pounds a month. And the larger one, this one is about 20,000, so about 400 pounds a month. Considering what you get around here though, that's not bad. It is pretty good area too. We're gonna go and have dinner tonight somewhere nice. So all going to plan, we'll show you that too. So mum and I have decided to come out into the local neighbourhood and see if we can get some food. We saw somewhere earlier that served Thai food and Italian food, so let's go and check it out. We actually ate here last night, didn't we mum? Surprisingly good, wasn't it? That was quite surprising. <laughs> Sasha is at home looking after Story and doing some work. We've got to catch up on some editing. She's already had her dinner though, so it's just me and mum getting the treats. We've got the little street food stands out on the street here. This is where we've chosen for dinner tonight, corner 12. Oh, thank goodness it's open. I wasn't sure if it was going to be open. This is pretty, isn't it? Romantic meal for two. <laughs> we've been eating Thai food for the last couple of days. I do fancy a margarita pizza without the cheese. So I've veganized this one. They were very willing to adapt the menu. And I've got a lovely spinach soup here too. Mum's got a Greek salad over there and some well done fish on its way. Random petrol pump on the street there. We're just heading back to the apartment now. Rejoin Sasha. We're just trying to work out how far up the building we are. <laughs> I've been rejoined by Sasha. Hello. How was your work? A couple more features of this building I wanted to talk about before we end the video. It is nice that it's got a completely enclosed underground car park mm. yeah, because four floors, yeah, car parking. you find that when you park your car outside in Thailand it gets blazing hot mm. and they've got CCTV here so you can leave some stuff in the car and not worry too much about it. There is also a 24 hour security booth at the front of the complex which is quite nice because there's two guys down there that monitor everyone that comes and goes and you've got your security card to get in and out so that's a barrier so you can't just drive into the building unless you're supposed to be here <laughs> so there was a bit of confusion about the price earlier i said that the two bedrooms were about twenty thousand. we i saw one advertised privately for that but they're on average about twenty eight thousand, which is actually quite pricey mm, per in, month mm, in my yeah. opinion and in their little book in our apartment it says if you stay for 26 days or longer you have to pay on top your internet fee which is 800 baht and 30 baht a month for water and 8 baht per unit for the electricity. All in all I felt quite safe in this area, I've enjoyed staying in this apartment, it's very modern and I would recommend it for where it's located. Yeah, it's, I'd stay here again. Yeah, it's close to all the good stuff in my opinion and it's yeah. down the end that we like. Yeah, and it's walking distance to a few cafes and restaurants as well. Yeah. So yeah, there's, a, there's some stuff around here, but just not as much as if you're in the centre of Hua Hin. Yeah, of course. But because of that, it's also a little bit quieter out here as well at night time. Hope you enjoyed this video. We decided to keep it a little bit more informative. Perhaps some of you guys are planning on coming out to Thailand and just never knew what it's like here. This might help with that. We booked our five nights here on agoda.com. So if you want to check out how to book it yourself, you can look in the links below. And that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.